I thought that uh, Curtis did a very good job. He was, this was one of the very first seminars I was at in a long time to where a person maybe gives you a, a, a diagram of what they're going to do, like point one, two, you know, part one, two, three, four, and five. But in a lot of the conferences and stuff you go to, people may ha get to one, two, and three and don't even finish four and five, or they rush it. He didn't rush anybody. It was a great question and answer session. He stopped in between. It was just very impressive that any question anybody had, they got an answer. I mean, it's like it was really amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Like I said, that, that, that from start to finish, handled professionally and were very informative. You know, something, I mean, to be free was just amazing. I, I think it's worth charging $100 for somebody to come here, is my personal opinion. You just got to take inventory of what you got right now and, and how to make it work. That was one thing he was stressing too about creativity, you know what I mean? So I would tell people, if you learn, if you want to know what type of mogul you might be or what type of um, avenue you might need to take or approach you need to take, then this is for you and how to maximize on your creativity. Yeah, it was very informative, the instructor he did a great job in interacting with, with us and putting us into the um, conversation. And I felt that I learned more about what I need to be doing in the business. Um, if you're definitely trying to get ahead in the music industry, you're trying to push your brand harder, and you're trying to get to that next level in the industry, you should definitely come out, bring a pen, bring a pad, get your phones ready, network, get it in, man, because it's definitely where you want to be if you're trying to get to that next level. You have people that really want to learn, like some of the people that were here today. And then you have people that just want people to sell them a dream. So, you know, if you want to learn the business, um, learn what's happening, you want to come, you know, get with people like him and make it a magazine that's, that's going to tell you the game. Even go to his YouTube. I was on his YouTube last, last night. I saw about three or four videos last night. They may have been three, four, five years old, but it still had relevant information. I mean, because I really um, been bumping my head up against the wall about, I guess, how to navigate in the, in the business or what I even wanted out of the game, you know what I mean? So I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to be a mogul or what type of mogul. And, but to put that in perspective for me, like, I definitely feel like I'm a celebrity type of mogul. I can't, I'm not no behind the scenes type of person. I want to be seen. Ladies need to see me, you feel me, so. <laughs> You have to be a team-oriented person in order to get the labels to look at you and have your, your business together instead of just saying that you're a boss. You gotta have your, your business plan together. You gotta have everything in order in order to, to look serious, in order to get them to take you serious. My next step from this interview is really just assessing myself as, a, as an entrepreneur, just seeing more where I fit and where my company will fit in the industry and seeing who, who else needs to add to my team and make sure that they complement what I got going on. You know, so, and it's about being well informed. And, and, and um, like I said, seminars like this, they, they get you well informed. I mean, it, a lot of people have seminars and whatever and all of that. And, and some of them is just a bunch of people talking or, or yakking or bragging about what they've done or whatever or name dropping. But this was real, vital information talking about how to really get out here, what to do, what not to do, who to deal with, who not to deal with, what type of things to deal with, what type of things not to deal with. I mean, it's just really very informative. You really need to just be here to find out for yourself. Like I say, as long as he's doing it free, you'll be an absolutely damn fool to not attend. Hey, I don't want to put no, I ain't gonna throw no shade on nobody, so I don't call no name, but I've been to stuff and, man, I left just as confused as when I went in the damn, you know, shop or whatever. So it was definitely informative. I'm gonna give it a strong 8.5. I would say make sure you have your business together and do your research because if you don't do your research, you come into some place that you you don't have no type of no knowledge of. So first do your research on our website and and know what you're coming to. You know, just to, to, to better prepare yourself for this this type of this type of knowledge. You know, it's not for everybody, but it is for everybody, the right people.